Having left the uh, beautiful island of Lanzarote, we're now back in the UK. And we're doing something slightly mad. We're staying in this Toby Carvery overnight, but in their car park, in the little motorhome, because we're off the boat life live tomorrow. So if you have a Toby, you can stay here included. Shikri. So we're firing up the old television to see if Netflix will work. And now indoors with a huge coat on, he's making a pot of tea. Not the best places we've ever stayed, but it'll do. Toby booked for tonight. Well, we're parked here at the NEC in the car park. The car park space is not very big, even for a small motor home. And off we go to Boat Life Live. Alright, well there's hers indoors. Looking forward to the boat show, of course. Trooping along to the entrance of the NEC. Well, we've arrived early. I don't know if they're going to let us in, but there's not many people about. Officially, I think it starts at 10. But because we stayed over in the Toby Carver car park, we, uh, we've got a bit early. And that's it, including her indoors, making a fuss and causing a ruckus at breakfast. Oh dear. Well now the doors have opened and it's the great bundle in. So this is what you're greeted with. I don't know how many halls there are. Probably only one or two. I don't know. So we've got some fairly big ones in, we've got a big fair line in there and next to it a mate called Iron, which I've not heard of, which seems they've got the biggest rubbing strike in history, encourage people to go bumping into everything. Idea Marine, there's another one I've not heard of. Monterey. Oh, and an incredibly long, narrow boat. 132 gram plus that. I mean, doors is going right over that, look. And a doggy dock. Quite what a doggy dog is. I do not know. Oh, she's looking in that, look. I think that's a rope and moulded. And we've got Calibri or Calibri. Sibs. Big empty space through there. It's the Honda Wave stand. Or Honda stand. Nice Galia rib. Now that would be nice. Show price 62 grand. It's got on the back. Oh dear, a table on a rib. People weren't that. The Puritans, are, the um, Scotland Brigade, who like to crash through the waves. 150. We've got a nice Renare, which is actually branded up as Honda. Very similar to the one I've bought recently, but I think this is the 17 footer. The indoors getting worried I might be buying another boat. Sea Ray, got a good display. Although Sea Ray seem to be going very snub nosed at the moment, which I'm sure is useful if you have mooring nose to or coming up to a beach. It doesn't look particularly stylish. 
Marine 1650 open. Not heard of that. Starting from 22. Saxidors. Now they're, they're coming on quite a bit. This is one I looked at. This one, Catherine. Didn't tell you to buy this one, a 205. What is it? Saxidor 205. Oh, yeah. She spotted the toilet, that cheers her up. Nice powered by 115, which for a very narrow beam boat is probably enough. Yeah, there's actually some bigger boats here than uh, I thought there would be. A rather nice Nimbus. There. Traditionally a displacement boat, I thought, but not now it's in it. Don't know what a car's doing here in the show. So this is the 420 XL Rago. And this is the 470 Rago. I just had a chat with uh, a lot of the people, the chaps on the XL stand, which is there, and it appears that Terry has now sold his interest in XL, and other people have got it. Right, Erin Dawes is having a look in the narrow boat or the wide beam, and when you look inside, yeah, and kind of see why she's interested. What is she like? More inside the wide beam. I think it should be called a house. What do you reckon now indoors? Very nice. Very nice. She says she fancies that. Sitting there as a bottle of wine. The old sitting there with a bottle of wine ploy. Sailing Wessels. I would have had a go in my youth, but the size I am, I don't think I'll bother nowadays. And the ever expansion in blow up uh, paddle boards and canoes, all drop stitched and high pressure floors and so on. Smart line 19, that's pretty good. If you're a fisherman, that's what Murray wants, Catherine. <laughs> Trolling motors all on the front. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now I've remembered to put it on 50 frames a second. Here we have Boat World, who are moving forward in the world with the new stuff every day, or every week, every month. 
brought in this range of compass boats. And then we have their new Take a Cat copy, Cat Sport 330. There it is, a lot of people are interested in this, a lot of sibbers are interested in this. Looks quite a machine actually. So there it is, and I reckon that looks pretty good, if I'm honest with you. For the money, I think it's about 13.50. You could have a lot of fun with that with a 10 horse two stroke. Mare multi tent, what on earth is that? Kip on that in the water, there you go. Right, we've been down there, let's go over here. <laughs> Neptune ribs, I think that's a relatively new one which are bringing in boats from China. I'm sure these are SBS, quite nice but they are China import. that one an idea 53 nice machine a little bit like a winari I suppose but again a very flat nose There's your um, tent on a boat idea, but tent on a sieve. Go up the river, moor up, trust your anger, and go to sleep in that and piddle over the side. Well, it's for disabled people. Here yeah, we've got a wally of a roto molded, I think they are made out of plastic. Interesting boat. Sitting there like the king of the castle. <laughs> New look to Nimbus. Indoors is trying to look at a boat, but being a midget, she can't see. Sting, this is another relatively new brand, which is quite nice. Quite like the design of that. Inboards outdated now for boats this size.
That, that is a serious high field. Still love the looks of the traditional uh, looks of the Benetou at Tari's 8. And we have some more slick looking machines. Oh, and we have got some rope and fenders and bits of chandry. Not much, but it's here. Go for your electronic stalls, I've found. She's looking at him again. So if you're coming, it's quite a small show but you're fed up with the wind when you want to get inspired by looking at some boats then certainly come and there are a few more Chandri areas There's Owen Dawes sitting there having a coffee, bought me one, didn't dare how much I asked how much it was because no doubt that was more than 99p. She's whinging now because her feet are tired. I don't know. And if anybody's wondering, that's your coffee and lunch facility at the show. Very few other places to sit be honest. So if you're old and knackered like me, bear that in mind. I take it back, there are some electronic stands. Just goes to show how you walk and some wine stands. Just goes to show how you can walk around the show twice to, or more and not actually see everything here. Right well that's our show we've been here from 10 to one o'clock let me see we feel we've done it all is it worth a visit yes definitely um, so come if you're interested in boats though indoors is knackered look at that look Ugh.